Hey guys, it's Nancy and this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. I am calling it spilling the tea, even though I'm not really drinking tea, I'm drinking water, which by the way, I dumped right down the front of me. So this wet spot will be drying up as we speak. But this is about products that I have reviewed that I have actually used and purchased on my own from brands that I recommend from past videos. And it's also about three companies I will not use anymore. So um, let's just go ahead and get into this. Welcome to my channel and I really appreciate you being here to watch this spilling the tea video is what I'm calling it. So I thought that this would be valuable for some people when it comes to deciding what you want to purchase because us unboxers, we are showing you a lot of stuff and to know what we actually use personally, I think can really be helpful. Ruger is right here. He is joining us today, although he's kind of out of sight. I'm happy to have him in the office. He has been avoiding me lately when I've been making videos let's see what a, oh my eyes mm, I don't know if you can see I am struggling with allergies right now and I have allergy eyes different thing for me I've been puffing I don't normally puff it's kind of horrifying <laughs> I managed to get it to come down a little bit this morning I've done my best with my makeup but if I look a little bit haggard that's why it's allergies and if you guys know of a good solution to allergies please let me know I guess a lot of people are suffering with them this year but wow, something out there is not liking me and it's been like that for a while. Okay, first of all, let's start out with the products and companies that I do recommend and I have used on my own. One is Fitsnack. So Fitsnack did send me this box free for review and they have started sending me this free for review, but I paid for my first box with them and I would have continued paying had they not offered to do this. Now, I probably wouldn't have shared it with you again, but because they are sending this to me to review. I review it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. They are $29.90 a month, but if you use my link below and every single product that I talk about today that I recommend, I will leave links for, not the ones I don't. Uh, you will get 50% off of your first box. So that's $14.95 for this box. They generally have about nine full-size snack products in here. What's cool about that is they are actually chosen by a registered dietitian and she finds things that are a little bit unusual. So you're gonna get consumables in here that you don't necessarily find in the grocery store. And there's also fitness inspiration in here. There is a workout in here that will uh, be ma is made by a personal, personal trainer. Let's just go ahead and get into the products in this box. This, by the way, uh, I believe is June's box. So if you order now, you will get different products and you get to be surprised. So here on top is the Fit Snack Fitness Challenge. It has four different rounds with four different exercises per round, tells you how to do it. Full body with cardio, gets it all done in 20 minutes. There's a welcome on the back. And then on the inside is links and uh, coupon, coupon code type things to many of the different products that are within this box. I'm gonna start pulling products out and reading descriptions as I can in this. Please forgive the glare from the glasses. I need them to see, it turns out. So first up, we have by Siete, grain-free tortilla chips. Uh, everyone wants to go to paradise, but not everyone can get there. Thankfully, a bite of our lime-infused chips will let uh, teleport a palm tree and straw hat to your location. That looks yummy. Next, we have Talia Snacks dry roasted chickpea hot chili and olive oregano and these are roasted with no oil high in plant protein and fiber they're a great alternative for those with nut allergies this is for me i have nut allergies now we have the chimango uh, mango bites dried mango bites juicy mango is dehydrated and cut into bites i love the dried fruits we have Rind Snacks Apple Chips. I love these. I know I keep saying that about every snack. Um, I actually even buy these in the grocery store. So for me, this is a win because it's one less I have to purchase. So it says sweet, crisp, and irresistible meat rind apple chips. Great as a snack on their own. Amazingly versatile as a cocktail garnish. Huh, didn't think about that. In dips and spreads or elevating a char fruitery board. That's cute. And we have... 
Soli. Soli uses whole, simple, organic ingredients listed on the front of the package and selects fresh, ripe pineapple to produce their organic pineapple fruit jerky. Oh, yummy. Easy grab-and-go fruit snack with no added sugar or preservatives. Mm. Says it's made with their clean and whole ingredients listed on the front. One half of an organic pineapple. That's made with, all that's made with, guys, is one half of an organic pineapple. Let me show you the back. That is... That's one half of an organic pineapple? How can you make that with one half of an organic? It's 70 calories. I love that it's organic. Includes organic pineapple. All right. Oh, that's, all right. I'm gonna be tasting this by the time this whole thing is done. So then we have Nutty Gourmet Sea Salt Walnuts. Ooh, I have a story about walnuts. We are walnut farmers, family-owned, family-run for over four generations. Walnuts are one of the healthiest foods on the planet, and we are on a mission to get healthier, affordable food to people. That is very nice. There is 180 calories in this whole thing. So you want to hear my story about walnuts? When I was a baby, my parents took me to, I think, a potluck function, and I swelled up like a bl blowfish, uh, and I got hives on me, and my face got real swelling, and they couldn't figure out what was wrong. They took me to the ER. They knew it was an allergic reaction. They did not know to what. So a few months later, took me somewhere. I ate a cookie, and same reaction, took me back to the ER. The whole thing happened again, but then they were able to narrow it down to walnuts. So obviously, I won't be eating this. Uh, and as the years have gone on, I've added all other tree nuts to my repertoire of things I am allergic to. The worst so far, by the way, has been pine nuts. I actually had a, um, went into anaphylactic shock and I started to go into cardiac arrest at the age of 25. So I am very good at sussing out what things nuts might be in and avoiding them. However, my husband loves these boxes because we generally just don't let nuts in the house. It's just not worth the risk. And a lot of times, like if someone's baking with them or something, even the molecules can make my throat itch and my eyes swell up, much like they are now because it's an allergy. But um, when I get these boxes, he can eat them in solitude. He hides in his office and eats them. And then he can have some, the nuts that he loves so much. And I'm not at risk because they're individually packaged. All righty. There's a little rabbit trail once again for you. So this is the, let's find her here. I'll bet it's in here. The Sun and Swell Foods Roasted Nuts and Seeds Mix. There's what we look like. All right, focus little camera. Our roasted nut and seed trail mix is now available in a 100% compostable grab and go size. This nut and seed mix is slight, lightly, slightly roasted and lightly salted for the perfect simple trail mix. 150 calories in this. It's got pumpkin seeds, pistachios, cashews, and sea salt. That is going to the very happy husband. And then last we have peeled snacks, gently dried fruit, organic apple. And these feel soft, not like the crispy apple chips. Bursting with flavor, our gently dried apples are delicious on their own without any preservatives or added sugar. I have never seen these before, this, this brand or this type of thing. So that will be yummy. So for uh, $29.90, or if you use my code $14.95 for the first month, and by the way, the price per box goes down a little bit if you get order more than one month at a time, but it's very easy to cancel with them. So you can try it one time at half off and then not be obligated. I have no skin in the game with this one. I don't make anything if you do that, but if you use my link, uh, you will save 50%. I think it's a great deal. And the other thing it does is it kind of lets the company know that them sending this box to me is worth it working. <laughs> so they'll keep sending it to me. I'm gonna try this, you ready? Let's give it a whirl. Can I get it open? I'm still just having a hard time believing that this is one half of an organic pineapple. Because I know there's more calories in one half, unless the pineapple is like that big, which might be the case. Too curious for my own good. Finally, finally I have released it. Oh wow, yep. This tastes like a pineapple, but way more intense because you're getting all of that flavor in your mouth at one time instead of, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full, instead of spread out with water in it to make it a bigger pineapple. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is really yummy. So that's number one of the products that I have reviewed and that I 
have paid for with my own money. So number two up is Fitville shoes. These are awesome. This is one of my pairs of Fitville shoes. I have unboxed for Fitville twice. I will leave links to the, maybe the last one down in the drop down box so you can get better uh, information on them. They're fantastic. One of the things that sets them apart is they actually have a kind of like a disc in the heel here that moves with your foot. So you're not stuck in one, one range of motion with your foot. I love that. And they have a wider toe box. They have a wide range of sizes. I believe women's might go up to 13 and men go up to 16 if I'm not mistaken, but you'll have to check the website. If you use my link, you will save 18% off. Again, I don't have any skin in the game on that one. I don't believe I make anything from that at all. I have not only bought these with my own money, but my stepson, my daughter uh, have ordered them. They love them. And my sister, I think, ordered some when she was here because I spoke so highly of them. And she and I are close in foot size. I had her try mine on. So Fitville shoes, highly recommend. They do cater towards people with wide feet, but they do also have some shoes that are for normal width people. You don't realize how little room you have in the toe box until you put on a shoe where your toes aren't squeezed anymore. All right, next up is Oats Overnight. Now I don't uh, unbox for them anymore. I've been getting Oats Overnight before I started this channel. I've talked about them. Some people have said that they think that they're awfully expensive. I think by the time, as I, I do as much organic as possible, by the time I make a couple of organic eggs and a piece of Ezekiel bread and grab a piece of fruit, I don't think it comes into any more than this. But that's okay. That's just an individual decision. I'm just here to let you know what I recommend. So they used to be you could buy a pack of eight, and I kind of got grandfathered in on that one, and I customized my flavors. They have changed that. Now you have to get at least 16. If I get grandfathered out of that, I will go with the pack of 16 and get it every other month instead of getting that pack of eight monthly. The prices uh, start at $45 for 16. Again, you can build your own box. Um, let's see, and if you just want to do a one time, it's $60. So that's significantly more, but I always like to do any company one time just to see if I like it. Now, the neat thing about these is they're actually meant to be eaten cold. I know that sounds gross. I don't think it's gross. You just take one of these, you tear it open, you put it in uh, to one half cup of milk, st uh, stir it or shake it. That's if you want to eat it with a spoon. And a few hours later, they say overnight, but I usually will mix mine at like 6 a.m. when I get up and I'll eat them around 10. Perfectly fine after I'm done working out and have taken a shower. My two favorite flavors, I get three of this one, dark chocolate sea salt in each box. And if I wound up with a pack of 16, I would do six of these. And then I get five of the chocolate chip cookie dough. So I would do 10 if I got a pack of 16. Uh, I, I enjoy these quite often. Um, they also, in the subscription boxes, if you're subscribed, you get the flavor of the month. It's a, it's a trial flavor and you can try it. And then they send you an email and say, let us know what you think. So when they first trialed the dark chocolate sea sauce salt, I loved it because I had been trying to get them to come out with an all chocolate flavor for a long time. Um, they, they did one, it was one with matcha. I almost hurled, it was terrible. So I wrote them and said, whoever created this flavor should be fired <laughs> on the, on the, uh, survey that they sent afterwards where they want your opinion on it. However, that one's going into their lineup. So apparently there are people out there who like matcha. I personally think it tastes like dirty grass, but anyway, I, I just get the ones I like in my boxes. They do have different, you can get all one flavor. You can get one that ones that have preset flavors. So go check them out. I do not have a discount code on them. Uh, I just tell people about them because I love them. Oh, the other thing is you could also mix one of these with a cup of water uh, and they sell shaker bottles for that. And I think with your initial order, they send you one free if they're doing what they used to. And then you just shake it and then you can actually drink it on your way out the door in the morning. I've tried that. I like eating it with a spoon better. Next up, we have Phi Two glasses. Uh, Sam and I did a review for this along with, um, what is the name of that men's box? Will occur to me later. I will put the link to the video down below so that you can see that. If you use my code Nancy15, you'll get 15% off of this. Again, there's no skin in the game for me. I used my own code after we did the review and got my prescription glasses. 
This, these came out just as good as the ones that I got from the optometrist. Um, these are progressive lenses. If I remember correctly, these need to be cleaned. But if I remember correctly, these came out to about $63. And I also got them with a little bit of anti-glare, although not enough for the ring light, but it really kind of helps me in regular seeing type situations. And again, they're progressive. I just entered my uh, prescription in and they came out great. It does take a couple weeks for them to get to you and they have a wide variety of frames. Highly recommend Phi2. And then last up of the products that I still use, or the companies, this is a subscription box, is Kinder Beauty. Now, I do like Allure, and I've talked about Allure quite a bit. And they're a good company. They have three full size, and then I think four uh, trial size in their box. But I started going with Kinder instead, because Kinder makes it so you can customize your box. You can actually choose the first, you have options on the first two for what you want. Then they have base items that go with every box. There's five full-size products instead of three with either travel size or samples like Allure Head. And it's super easy to skip a month. I skipped July because the products weren't of interest to me, but they will go ahead and just renew me again for August, no problem. You just keep going. They're so easy to work with. And I have an affiliate link down below for 18% off of your first Kinder Beauty Box if you would like to try that. Alrighty, let's get on to the uh, companies and subscription boxes I will no longer use. So of the three companies I will no longer work with, let's just go right down the list. I'm gonna start off with Proper Good. I don't have anything to show you from these because I'm not working with them, so I don't have their stuff around anymore. Proper Good reached out to me initially just to ask me if they could send me some of their oatmeals to try. They didn't know I had a channel. I voluntarily made a video for them. They were appreciative. And then um, I went ahead and I ordered from them. But the problem became, I liked, I liked the product, but the order was taking forever to get to me of my second order that I paid for myself. Got in touch with them. Long story short, they were out of several things that I wanted. At that point, they had started going into Walmart. They had just started. And I think what happened was they sent their inventory to Walmart, but they neglected their subscribers. So that was strike number one. The, the person who I was communicating with felt very bad. She actually uh, asked me if I would substitute a few items and so I did. I wound up with a lot of their chili. Um, and then additionally, they kept my order in apparently and then they sent me what I had ordered and I got it for free, which was wonderful. So I went ahead and I tried to order from them again with much the same result. Uh, they just, they were out of the things that I really wanted. I was able to place the order, but then they didn't have it. And at that point, I was not willing to, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And at that point, I just didn't trust them anymore. And one thing my husband, who has a, uh, a doctorate in business, discovered when he was doing his, is that a thesis at the end? His dissertation. I think thesis is with a master's degree. When he was doing his dissertation was that once a company has lost someone's trust, <clears throat> pardon me, they don't, they don't get their business back. And that's exactly what happened. Because if I don't know, it's great that you give me these really great discounts, but if I have to keep chasing you around to try and get my order A sent to me and B find out if I'm getting what I ordered, even if you eventually send it to me for free, I'm not getting the things in a timely manner. I would rather pay and have it quickly than not pay and wait a long time and have to do a whole bunch of work to get it to me. They put the burden on the consumer is what they did. And so I don't, I don't recommend and I will not order from Proper Good anymore. And I've seen them in Walmart, wowie, wowie, are they expensive. So when you ordered it on the website, you could get more quantities, go over a certain number and get them in a different types of packs and you could get a discount. Well, you can't do that in Walmart. So Proper Good and I are broken up. Next is a company I unboxed for one time. It was called CC Feline. I only saw a couple of other people unbox for them. She reached out to me on Instagram and said, would you be willing to have me send you a, a box of clothes? It was a clothing subscription economically priced, very economically priced, and give it a whirl and do a video for me. And I said, sure, I would love to. I think we need economically priced 
clothing subscription boxes and I was very excited to try them. It was a great experience picking out the clothes with her. She was really good at listening to my feedback. She had obviously watched my channel. She went in for some of my preferences and she sent me the box and I did the video and several of you wanted to order and one person said in the comments that they had ordered from her and their $10, it was only a $10 styling fee, was uh, cashed and then they never heard from her again. So I went back and I looked on the website and there wasn't a website and I went on to um, the Instagram page and she had said that she had taken a break for Christmas and then shortly after that the website completely disappeared. So obviously she went out of business with no word to anyone. You cannot order from CC Feline because it doesn't exist anymore. But I kind of felt like that was someone who probably got in on this business before she was really ready. And she also was a one woman show and I think she probably exhausted herself. She probably just bit off more than she could chew. So I wish her the best of luck, but CC Feline is one that again, if they come back, I'm not using them unless I have really good cause to. It all goes back to that thing of having lost trust. I have one more company to talk to you about. This one could get a little lengthy, but I think you'll find it pretty interesting. So last up is Daily Look. Daily Look is supposed to be a high-end clothing subscription box. I did several unboxings for them. I think maybe three or four. I think it was just three. Um, and I saw some things about them that I did not like. Uh, namely, every single time I did a financial transaction with them, they screwed it up somehow. They messed it up. Well, let's start at the very beginning. Their styling service fee is $40, and that does get applied back towards anything you keep, or you can put it towards their store. They have a very limited amount of products, um, you know, pieces in their store. So that's good, but that's a, that's a really high styling fee. But they kept messing up my, my financial transactions, whether it was, this happened all the time, charging me when I checked out with feedback, then charging me again when the items got back to them. So I would get double charged for what I kept. Uh, I actually would have to get on the phone with them. It took quite a bit of time to get the charges reversed. Then I saw a review about Daily Look by Stephanie at the Pink Envelope. And she went online, I don't know why it never occurred to me to do this. She went online and she looked up the clothes before she purchased anything. And quite frankly, a lot of them were a ripoff. Um, Verve jeans that I can get from Wantable for like 60-ish, 60, $70 were listed at like over a hundred. It was ridiculous. I did notice with one, it was one jumpsuit that I liked with them, but I went online and I did notice with that one that I could get it on Poshmark for 20 bucks, which should have been a big clue. All at my, in my own defense, I was new. I was new to the scene. So, um, now I actually look up everything before I purchase it from a box. You know, I can handle it. If it's five or $10 more, I understand that these companies need to make money. They're paying stylists, they're paying to ship things to you and back, they're not charging the shipping. And I understand that price has to get absorbed somehow and so they put it into the cost of the garments. And I'm cool with that. Yeah, I, I'm willing to pay for the convenience. But their prices were super, super elevated. So daily look is one I do not recommend at all. And I don't even know how they're staying in business because there's been enough people who have given them bad reviews on YouTube that I, you would think it would just kill their business. I don't know, I don't know how they're managing this. So that's one, avoid daily look. Okay, I'm gonna have one more for you. It's just a cautionary. It's not a don't use it, but it's a cautionary. Well, the company I wanna give you a heads up about a little bit is Dia & Co. It's not that I don't recommend them. They are a great styling service. They also have a store online. They are for plus size. So they range from sizes 10 to 32. Their price ranges go from about $40-ish all the way up to high end, and they have a really nice selection. And my issue isn't with them at all in that regard. Their styling is terrific on the, on the style boxes, and I've really enjoyed them. My problem comes in with the referral link and credit. So when one of you uses my link and you order your own Dia box for the first time, I get a $25 credit, which is a big blessing and thank you. But you have to enter 
a coupon code in to get it instead of having it automatically deducted like it is from other boxes when you have a credit for them. So with Wantable, if I go to check out and I have ordered a $60 shirt, my $20 styling fee applies back, brings it down to 40. Then if I have like a $20 credit, that applies and that brings the amount that I paid down to $20. With Dia and Co, you have to enter in a coupon at the top, then that takes the $25 credit off and then your styling fee is deducted back to you. But they will only let you use one at a time also. So one time I had three different referral credits from three of my amazing viewers who had used my link and they would only let me use one and I had to call them and talk to them about it. They said, you can only use one at a time. And I said, well, that's not really fair because I made a video for you. They didn't ask me to, but I spent a lot of time. I got you three new customers. They have great customer service. They did give me the full credit that time, but they said from now on, you can only use one at a time. So I have to keep that in mind. The other thing is if you get a referral credit from them, if you get, get a credit with them because you referred someone, do not use it for your styling fee. I did that last time. I entered the coupon code in that I had to get from them and I didn't pay a styling fee, which is great because then if I don't like anything in the box, I haven't lost anything. But upon checkout, they only gave me a $5 credit because they said, we gave you the $20 when you got the styling fee, which sounds right, except think about this. From the example I just gave you from Wantable, you paid a $20 styling fee that was credited back that brought it down to 40 then you had 25 dollars in credit or 20 dollars say 25 dollars in credit you're only paying 15 dollars because 40 minus 25 is 15. well with dia and co if i only get a five dollar credit my 60 dollars item is 55 dollars i don't get the styling fee credited back and i don't get the additional 20 dollars and i pointed that out to her i said my my total amount Paying with Wantable, for instance, would have been $35 because, you know, you have to consider that you paid the styling fee. But my total amount with you guys is $55 because you didn't refund the styling fee. You have to, you have to give me that styling fee back in order for the whole $25 to be applied. So I'm just not going to use it for my styling fee anymore. I'm going to bite the bullet, pay the styling fee, hope I find something I like in the box and be able to apply that 25 at the end without any hassle. So I hope that made sense. But yeah, Dia and Co, their, um, their credit um, method kind of makes me a little bit crazy. But you know what? It's okay. It's a great styling service. And, and I'm hoping that eventually they straighten that out. And maybe they have by now after my exchange with them. And incidentally, one of you has used my Dia and Co link recently. Thank you very much. So in the future, you will be seeing another unboxing by them for them by me. <laughs> well, I hope you found this valuable or helpful or entertaining or informative in some way. If you did, would you please squash that like button for me? If you like all different types of unboxings, please do consider subscribing. I always consider it such an honor when someone else subscribes and please comment down below. I love hearing you guys input and what you, uh, what you think about what I've said and you know, any, any way you'd like to interact with me, I always enjoy, enjoy it. If you would be so kind as to share this video with anyone who you think might find it informative, I would super appreciate that too. And let me know if you did. I always like telling you thank you. Okay, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye and be blessed. Hey guys, <clears throat> wow, there's a frog in my throat. I'm gonna try that again.